All right, China making its message clear as it warns Speaker Pelosi against visiting Taiwan ahead of her trip next month. The Chinese foreign minister quoting this. If Speaker Pelosi visits Taiwan, it would seriously violate the one China principle and harm China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Pelosi would be the highest ranking U.S. lawmaker to visit Taiwan since her predecessor as Speaker. Newt Gingrich went there 25 years ago. Newt, I love that the Speaker is going. How concerned are you that she's going to back out? Well, she, look, she has to make her own decision, and I'm sure the State Department is panic stricken and begging her not to do it. Because the State Department normally is into appeasing our, our enemies. But I would just say that uh, when we went 25 years ago, and, and I'm the highest ranking American ever to go to Taiwan, uh, we actually went to China. And the, China, the Chinese Communists had invited me to give speeches in Beijing and Shanghai. And then we told them, that's terrific. And by the way, we're going to go to Taiwan. And they said, you can't do that. And Gardner Peckham, who was my national security advisor, I remember listening to him on the phone yelling at the Chinese ambassador and saying, the Chinese Communist Party does not dictate the travel of the American speaker. And what we, had, what we did have to do is we left China, went to Japan, uh, stopped briefly, then went to Taiwan, and then went back to Japan. We couldn't go straight. But when we said to the Chinese Communist, look, if you don't want me to come to China, that's fine. I'll just go straight to Taiwan and never come to China. They suddenly said, oh, no, no, we don't mean that. But it will hurt right. our feelings. But, Mr. Speaker, there are a lot, there a lot more the time, the, But they're a lot more belligerent now. And our Defense Department is warning sure. her against it. And I think if we back out, the message to our allies is we're not up for yeah. the challenge. Look, it's exactly the kind of confusion that enabled Putin to mislead himself about Ukraine. Uh, we need to be very, very clear, and this is part of why I went. We, we had a lot of tension in 96, 97, and President Clinton and I collaborated in trying to send very strong signals, Absolutely. Uh, including putting American aircraft carriers in the Taiwan Strait. So I would say she absolutely has to go now. She cannot allow the Chinese Communist dictatorship to think that it can bully an American Speaker of the House. And frankly, she ought to tell the Pentagon and the State Department to shut up. Uh, they're, they're always timid, they're always risk averse, and they don't get it. Uh, it's very important to show strength so the Chinese communists understand that we're real and we're not just, a, as Mao called us, a paper tiger. So if you didn't get enough of Newt with Brett Baer yesterday on Fox News Sunday, and if you didn't get enough just now with me on Fox and Friends, good news. <laughs> Watch America First Agenda Summit. This is going to be big. It's going to be streaming live on Fox Nation starting today at 1130. And Donald Trump... Uh, the former president of the United States delivers the closing address tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Speaker, your book is doing great. Uh, I went into a Barnes & Noble the other day. They said, the new Gingrich's book is doing fantastic. It's called Defeating Big Government Socialism. It's on sale now. New congratulations on it. Great to see you. Great to be with you, as uh, always. All right. Meanwhile